What's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video. Now this video is going to be on CSGO skins that haven't even dropped yet. This is according to many sources and online databases and stuff. And um, I'm not 100% sure if this stuff hasn't dropped yet, just that it hasn't been recorded on the internet yet. And if you guys actually know anyone that has this stuff, or if you have it yourself, um, feel free to leave in the comments your inventory link and I can add it to the csgo.exchange database and possibly put it in a future Rare CSGO skins video. But um, other than that, none of these skins have ever been um, recorded to be found or unboxed yet. So um, yeah, let's get into the first skin. Now starting off we have the Stat Track Banat Ultraviolet Factory New. Now I'm going to be inspecting a minimal wear one, the closest minimal wear one to a factory new one that exists for the footage. And um, there is some factory new non-stat tracks, but the Stat Track one has not been unboxed yet according to CSGO.exchange. Next up we have the Stat Track Falchion Knife Brio Forest. I think there might be one of the non-stat track ones that exists. Um, but the Brio Forest is actually really rare to get factory new, so there is no stat track one that exists yet that's factory new. Next up, we also have the stat track M9 Bayonet Ultraviolet factory new. It's a pretty cool knife, and um, of course, this is a minimal wear one in the footage. And the, there isn't any of these on CSGO Lounge, CSGO.exchange. There is some of the non stat tracks, but the stat track factory new one has not dropped yet because ultraviolets are very rare to get factory new, of course. Next up we have the Souvenir Op Pink DD Pat Factory New. There's only a couple of the minimal wear ones and of course this is a skin where it's very rare to get Factory New. So um, there is no recorded Factory New Souvenir ones that have dropped yet. So um, very rare skin right here. There's only like six of the minimal wear ones and I haven't seen any Factory New ones. Next up we have the Stat Track Falchion Knife and Stat Track Falchion Knife Night Skin as well as the normal Falchion Knife. Night skin. Uh, the night skin hasn't dropped in factory new um, for the Falchion knife at all. Um, stat track and non stat track. Um, not that I'm aware of. There isn't any on CSGO to exchange or CSGO lounge, of course, so I don't believe there's any that exist. But of course, you guys can leave in the comments if you know someone that has this with their inventory link. And also the stat track Falchion knife Crimson Web. Um, some guy actually recently unboxed the uh, factory new non stat track there's only one recorded to exist but the stat track factory new one for the crimson web has not been unboxed yet not that i know of so um that's a minimal wear one that's pretty close to factory new right there but it is not actually factory new and next up we also we have the final ultraviolet for this video i believe the ultraviolets haven't all been dropped yet since they were just added in the chroma 2 case so they haven't been around for too long um, but the Stat Track Factory New Gut Knife Ultraviolet has not dropped yet, and there is some of the non Stat Tracks, of course, but not the Stat Track one yet. Very insanely rare skin. And uh, second last skin for this video is the Souvenir M4A1S Masterpiece Factory New. Um, I don't exactly know why this is so rare, because this is not normally a skin that's incredibly rare to get Factory New. Um, but there's hardly any minimal wear ones as well, so I guess this is this is just really hard to get in the souvenir case, so that's probably why it's so rare. And finally, we have the souvenir off Dragon Lore and Battle Scarred or Well Worn. Um, every single one that's dropped right now is either field tested or um, minimal wear or factory new, and I don't believe there's any well worn or battle scarred souvenir off Dragon Lores. And uh, this one was a really terrible field tested one. I think it was almost well worn that I inspected here, which kind of shows how it looks when it's worn. But uh, that's just about it for the video, guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure you check out my other videos. I have tons and tons of videos on CSGO skins, rare skins, cheap skins, expensive skins, everything skins, workshop skins. It's all here, and I'm a skillet, and I'm out.